what's up? It's me, Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel today. We're gonna be doing something totally awesome. But before we get started, turn on notifications bell, give me a big thumbs up. Did you do it? Okay, good. Now let's get started. So today we're gonna be having four parts to the series. Python part one, Python part two. Dunkable part one and Dunkable part two. Well, three or four, but either way. Basically, we're going to be trying to create a messenger app that can communicate between Dunkable and Python. So without further ado, let's get this started. But first, we have to know, what is encryption and what is decryption? That's why I have this Microsoft whiteboard up here. It's the first time I'm using it in a YouTube video. I thought... Why not start something new today? So let's get encryption. I'm gonna put EMC and decryption. So let me type it out too. Encryption is. Let's see. What is encryption? Encryption. Let me write this out. Encryption is a code. Is for example, let's use the Messenger app or WhatsApp. Perfect, WhatsApp, that can be a good explanation. WhatsApp, you can see it communicates through WhatsApp web and WhatsApp the app. So I can communicate with my mom's phone and my computer. So WhatsApp can, is also used of encrypts and decryption. So no hackers can see your messages. Encryption is when you turn that into a series of, of letters and numbers and yeah. It's where you turn it into a screen of letters and numbers. And then decryption is the opposite of that. We take the letters and numbers and we decrypt, decrypt it to its normal form, aka the message. And I'm just going to give you a little bonus tip, but like not many people can actually encrypt, encrypt or decrypt or understand the encryption version like at all. Like, it's so hard to tell what the encryption version is that only a few people around the world can tell what encryption is without using a whiteboard. So basically, encryption. To transform a message into a series of letters and numbers. Next, and decryption. We already covered this. Decryption. Oops. Opposite of encryption. Opposite. Sorry, I just broke that. No, I'm not going to put that. <gasps> decryption. To transform the encrypted message back to the original message. Perfect. That's what encryption and decryption is. You guys got it? Yay! I don't really know if you can hear that. I don't even know what this reaction tab is. It's my first time using whiteboard on a Windows 11. But either way, let's get straight into the video in part one, encryption. So today I'm only going to be covering the encryption so we can forget about the get data. So right now we're going to be focusing on the send data and the, I want to say the enter room too. Yeah, we're going to be focusing on the send data and the enter room too. Well, two, but so let's do that. Anyway. So first, we have to import these three libraries. From SimpleCrypt, import encrypt decrypt, obviously, because we're going to be reading them. From the can they import, and from Firebase, import Firebase. Guys, we're going to be using Firebase. Yes, we're using Firebase. But we don't really need it right now. Oh, oh, did that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Mm. That was a bit awkward. Um, so now... We have to put this line where we have to do a hot in Tunkable. We use the uh, 
Why am I going with Master Gunter? Anyway, remember how in Tankable we used the API key to put the the link to the Firebase? That's exactly what we're doing here. We're putting the link to the Firebase, just like in Tankable. Then we're putting the login window tk, login window geometry, login window config. Next, we need to assign the variable, username, your code. The first code, message text, message entry, and last value. Before we get to the function, let's go to the bottom. I have to say, before we get into the function, we're also going to need username underscore label, which any font you want. I just put Arial 13 and the FC is white. Username entry, uh, your code underscore label, because the label to say your code, your code entry to enter your code. Friend code label to display friend's code and the friend code entry to type in your friend's code. Then we need the btn underscore start to actually start chatting. And then obviously the ending line. It's like that all the time. You, it's just like that all the time. Anyway. Now we're going to look at the function, send data and enter room. Send data. First, do you remember, obviously, it's literally just a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago. We have username, message entry, and your code. We're going to put in that as global variables because we're going to use them all throughout the function. For all three of them. Yes, all three of them. Next, we need message is equal to username plus the colon, obviously, and then plus the message and entry down again. Okay, you might not understand this, so let's go to the enter room first. That's probably a good idea. Then, because the enter room and the send data, the enter room usually goes first, then the send data. It's a good idea, let's do the enter, enter room first. So global username, global your code, global your friend code, message entry, message text. So you have to global everything except the last value. We're going to be doing that in the get data. Then, after that, we need your code to entry.get. So that's going to be your code. Your friend code is friend code.entry.get and the username dot get. Message window is equal to TK. So we're basically creating the message window, message window dot config, message window dot geometry. Obviously, we need the size, the text to, for the text box, and the, obviously we need to place it. But yeah. So now we need message label to where, put where the message is. But message dot entry, so you can type the message and button send, so you can send the message. Then. There's this oddly looking line here. Do you see that? I think I see it. We have login window, that's the story. That's to literally destroy the other window. <laughs> Not that I'm serious, but anyway. I'm listening. Anyway, now in the message window, that main loop. Yes, there's two this time. One inside the function and one in here. One at the bottom. Next, we're going to be using send data. Now, it will make sense. Global username, global message entry, and global your code. Next, we need message unit, username dot plus, colon, so you know how there's colon, so it can tell who the from, colon, and then the message, which is literally why there's a message entry dot get at the end. Next, here's a new line, cipher code. That's to encrypt our message, and hex, the next line is also needed to encrypt to do the, n encrypt the message too. Hex underscore string is equal to cipher code dot hex. Put I put date, but it's actually put data. <laughs> put data is equal to firebase dot put slash your code hex string. So first you have to put your code hex string. Print put data and then get the data. That's what we're going to be doing here, but that's going to be in the next video. But that's all for this video, I guess. 
So, subscribe to my channel to our notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!